Hello, hello, how are ya? Welcome to day two of the Work From Home Challenge. My name's Ryan J. Thank you so much for paying attention today. Um, yesterday we went through a little bit of mindset. Today is gonna be, uh, today is mostly what to do. What to do. So, just so you know, if you need mindset stuff, that was yesterday. Um, I got it out on YouTube, I got it out on Instagram, uh, TV, or you can just check yesterday's post. All right, so today is going to be what to do. Um, short little recap and doing some house cleaning here. Uh, me, I'm Ryan J. I've been working at home for the last three, four years now. Uh, the last three of those years, I had a corporate job. The last year, I've been full-time working from home. By no means am I an expert, but I'm doing it, and it seems to be working out. So I'm here to give you my tips, advice, coach, teach, train, and give you information. I'm not here to sell you anything. Uh, I'm not here to pitch you anything. You know, just so you know, this is all information. Do with it what you want. I hope it helps. I got a lot of notes here. Um, before we jump into it, I highly recommend if you're interested in working from home, get yourself out, pen and paper, write down these ideas, and then you can pick and choose later on or rewatch the whole thing. Doesn't matter to me, however you want to do it. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, here's another thing. If at any point in time you have a question, comment, or need something answered, go ahead, write it in the comments. Um, I'll check the comments. I answer the comments, of course. Uh, if it's a personal thing and you don't want to put it in the comments, you can go ahead and put it in my direct message, and I always check those anyhow. So there's a lot of ways to get your answers from me. All right. Or if you don't want them from me, just Google it. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's get into it. What to do. Yesterday was mindset, getting your mind right. Today, what to do. And I got a bunch of them. All right. So first and foremost, like what seems to be the most obvious and what seems to be the most like what people go to the most common when working from home. It takes you back to when you were a kid, you know, setting up lemonade stands, mowing lawns, you know, that sort of thing. All right, so that would be service work. Now, if you're good with your hands and you're good with building stuff like uh, fences or home repairs, you can offer up that service, all right? Um, mowing lawns, pick up neighbor's poop. You know, you're a pooper scooper service. All right, you're out in the you're out in the air, kind of fresh air. I don't know. Hopefully, uh, you're not around people, but you're still providing a service. So that's something you could do. Um, here in Minnesota, like a big thing since it's springtime going into summer is like yard cleanup. You could offer yourself as that type of service, cleaning out gardens and that sort of thing. It's not really the time to like start mowing grass yet, but I don't know what part of the country you're wa watching from. So, you know, be elastic with that idea, but service work. And that's like, what can you do labor wise to provide value to somebody else. All right, here's another one. <clears throat> Sell your skill set. So if you're not going to your job right now, and what were you doing at that job that you can translate into value right here and right now and offer it to people, all right, without going through the rigmarole of going to the workplace, do you have that skill set that you could offer up to people via 
whether it's a, a conference call or you're a consultant or um, whatever service you provided, could you translate that and do that at home? All right, get what I'm saying there? All right, sell your skill. Here's another one. And there's a couple of different avenues to this. You can become an Amazon seller. All right, so there's Amazon, you know Amazon, it's the behemoth, you know, behemoth. There are programs that Amazon has that you can use to become an Amazon seller. Now, you, you have to be qualified sometimes, and there are certain categories, but you'll, you can figure that out when, if this is an avenue you want to go. Me, myself, I'm an Amazon seller. I use, I ship stuff from my house, and then I also use their warehouses, which is called FBA or Fulfilled by Amazon, where I have my product shipped to their warehouse and then they process the orders, they ship it out, they use their labor. All right, so that's another way of um, selling on Amazon. Now, how I use it, I use it for one of my companies that I built and I have a physical product. All right, so I can keep the physical product in my garage or I can just send it to their warehouse and use their warehouse. I do it that way. Um, doing it that way, uh, yeah. it costs me a lot of money. Like they take 30 to 35% right off the bat. It's convenient and I use their behemoth of a platform to, to do this but it's expensive um, and it's kind of designed if you already have a product in mind and it's not just a one-off type deal like you got you got an iPad to sell you have one iPad I wouldn't use Amazon for that you know if you have thousands of one item or thousands of iPads then that's something to look into another thing is they Amazon has an affiliate program that you can sign up for and there's you know certain boxes to check and this and that where you can become in an, uh, an Amazon affiliate so what that means is like you say hey I really like this skincare cream that I'm using uh, because it does magic to my pores and Here's where I got it. And then, you know, you put the link down below as to where you got it. And then they give you a certain percentage. All right. So that's another one. Amazon has an affiliate program. You can become an Amazon seller and um, fulfilled by Amazon. If you have one-off items, eBay is another great platform to use to sell things. I use eBay all the time. Um, and what I did to jumpstart my eBay thing, my business or extra side hustle, is I went to one of the, one of the surplus sites where they sell items in bulk, bought bulk items. Spent like a hundred bucks on them, a box of, well, here, here's one example. I spent a hundred bucks on a box of drones. Got the drones, started listing them on eBay, all right, and drones going for 10 bucks to 150 $200 drones, and I sold out of drones in about a month and a half. So if... Or you can do one-off things. If there's stuff in your house that that you find is collecting dust or that you no longer need, just quick do a Google search on how much it's worth. Go ahead and list it on eBay. And this is a Gary V tactic, is flipping stuff. So go into Craigslist in the free section and go into wherever the thing is that's free cleaning it up 
and then posting it on eBay and selling it, flipping. So you got it for free, you put in a little bit of work, and then you flipped it on eBay. Uh, that's something else you can do. And, you know, setting up an eBay an account and a seller's account is super fast and super easy. And it's a way to get your uh, toes in the water of, like, selling things online. Highly recommend eBay. That's where I got my start is eBay. All right. Um, network marketing. Here is another... Here's another business opportunity that you can easily start with low cost, low overhead, and it's generally super simple and super easy to immediately start marketing and promoting a product or service, uh, whether it's a financial service, whether it's a coaching service or crypto or health and wellness. There's multitudes of avenues to go when it comes to network marketing. Um, you're actually starting your own home-based business with this model. Now, because it's home-based doesn't mean you don't have to take it serious. If you wanna take it serious, you can definitely take it serious and play with the big dogs when it comes to making money, uh, systems and operations, and the tax benefits. Because you are a legit home-based business, the tax benefits right off the bat is going to save you about seven to 8000 Let me say that again. seven to 8000 a year right off the top of your taxes because you're owning and operating a legit home-based business. So... Network marketing is an awesome opportunity to look at. Um, generally, a low boundary of entry. Usually, they drop ship your products, come with a training program, come with um, a coach and an, a mentor that's going to show you the steps. So, go ahead and take a look at that. I, myself, I'm a network marketer. So, of course, I'm going to highly recommend it. Affiliate programs. Now, these are interesting. Just about every single company offers some sort of affiliate program or bonus program. Um, so, affiliate programs are kind of interesting. And it's a great way to, like, make some extra money. But all it really means is there's no product involved. You're actually just referring people to whatever product or service you're an affiliate with. Make sense? So they give you a little bit of kickback. Now, uh, the so that's a cool thing, and it's easy to do. Here is a little bit of a drawback when it comes to affiliate marketing. Um, honest, honest be told... You need to have some sort of following or some sort of influence when it comes to like who watches your stuff and what kind of influence you have. Um, that would greatly, uh, greatly, hmm. your chances are better are being a, an affiliate affiliate program with people that actually pay attention to your stuff. If nobody watched me, and I'm an affiliate, and I'm starting to tell people, but nobody listens, then it doesn't really kind of make any sense. So uh, look at yourself and be like, do I have the cojones and the influence to become an affiliate marketer? If so, go ahead. There's plenty of programs out there. And like I said, just about every single company has some sort of bonus structure put in place. Delta Airlines has an affiliate program. Now, that'd be a tough sell in these days, let's be honest, but they do. All right. Okay. Are you a pro at what you do? Like, do you have a skill set that from your job that you can easily translate into an online program? So could you put together an online program, mentoring, consulting, uh, be a consultant, 
and do it that way, all right? If you're good at graphic design, you can easily set yourself up a, a Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R -R account, Fiverr account, and sell, sell your graphic design for whatever, whatever you sell it for, you know, and that's a way to be able to sell your skill through uh, in an app. Um, gosh, what's another one? Trading. Upwork, that's what I wanted to say, Upwork. So if you're a copywriter or you are, well, Upwork has a lot, whatever your skill set is, that could be easily translated into an Upwork account, which is an app, you can download it, then create your account, put in your expertise, put in your service, and bada bing, there you go. You're selling your service through Fiverr, through Upwork, <clears throat> and, those, and there's a, a bunch more, a bunch more, but that's what you can do. Um, this one's, this one is a little bit out of my realm. I don't know much about it, but I know people that do. And this is trading cryptocurrency. I guess it's kind of like uh, trading futures. I mean, I, me, myself personally own Bitcoin, but I don't know how to trade it. I know how to buy it. I mean, but there's a business model behind it. So trading cryptocurrency. So if, I think you'd probably be more on the math side and know how uh, trends work. But I'm not an expert on this. I can't talk that much about it. But I'm throwing it out there as an option. All right. Trading cryptocurrency. Um, are you good at arts and crafts? Do you find yourself making bracelets and uh, crocheting doilies? And, you know, are, are you artsy craftsy like that? Do you paint? Well, if you do, or pottery, that there's another one. Um, anything craftsy that you have a passion for, well, you can sell it. And a good platform to sell it on is Itsy. All right. E-T-S-Y, Itsy. It's a platform where you can sell your custom-made stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's something to look into if, if you're artsy-craftsy like that. Uh, make cool things that uh, your neighbors come over when they could come over and say, Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, thanks. I made that. All right, well, there's an avenue for you. You know, itsy. And along those lines, and so that's using that's using their platform, you could also set up your own e-commerce site. Um, set it up, or you could use Etsy's platform, or you could use Shopify's platform. Two platforms that you could use. All right, here's an interesting one. This is really, really interesting. Oh, bring them on camera. What does that mean? Here's an interesting one. Do you talk about cool stuff? Or do you have a niche passion? Like super niche passion that um, you're interested in and want to spread the word about? Start a blog. Start a podcast create a YouTube channel. Those are three, well, they kind of would get, the more successful you are and the more traction you pick up, you would actually have all three of those, a podcast, blog, and a YouTube channel. That's an avenue to go. Um, so whatever your niche is, whatever you seem to know a lot about, and you want to spread the word, create a blog. You know, start a podcast. You know, YouTube is free. 
So those are very, very low cost um, borders of entry to get into to spread your word and, and start to monetize on that. Okay, are you, here's an interesting one. Are you good at utilizing and knowing how social media works? And are you good at headlines? Are you good at a little bit of copywriting and are keen into how social media works? Well, if you are, offer up your services as a social media manager. You know, manage companies' um, Instagram accounts. Manage companies' Facebook pages. If they don't have a Facebook page, if the local plumber in your neighborhood doesn't have a Facebook page, he should. He shouldn't be in the yellow pages anymore. He should have his own Facebook page. And if he's a plumber, I'm not bashing plumbers, but he might not know the nuts and bolts of how to set up a Facebook page. That's where you step in as a social media manager. Manage his page. That doesn't mean you have to manage it forever. You know, you can come on up with whatever terms you want. Maybe you want to only manage it and set it up for him and let him have the reins after a month. All right, charge him a fee for whatever you believe your time is worth to set up his Facebook page or his Instagram account or whatever, the Twitter, whatever avenue he wants to go but doesn't have the knowledge nor the time to do and provide your service as a social media manager to start working from home. That's a cool one. All right, and this one goes along the lines of the uh, back to the blogs and the podcasts and the YouTube channels. Well, if you have specific knowledge that, um, that solves a problem or people are hungry for that knowledge, create yourself an online course, all right? An online course and sell it. You know, you make it one time, you know, well, hopefully you make it one time, all right? So you shoot one video or whatever, or maybe it's a document or, you know, you're doing it one time and then you can sell that over and over and over and it's evergreen. It'll never go away, never goes away. So that's an avenue to go to as well. Online courses or online training. <sighs> that's a bunch. That's a bunch. So if you were stuck with idea or if you were stuck like, oh my gosh, I need to make money. I don't know what to do. Here are a whole bunch. Rewatch it or hit me up in my DM or hit me up in my messenger or in the comments below. If you need more information on anything that I just gave you, or would like me to answer any questions for you, of course, I will do that. I hope that provided value. I hope that gave you ideas. So take what you learned yesterday with the mindset, the mindset, which was taking action for yourself and your personal finances and taking hold of that and that responsibility. So with yesterday's training on the mindset and taking action and, you know, taking action and uh, never say never and that type of attitude. And today's information with all the ideas that I just gave you and uh, start running with it. Tomorrow's training will be a little bit more high tech on how these work. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow, 2 p.m. Central, um, I'm going to be going live again. Thank you so much for paying attention. If, I, if this brought you value and you feel like somebody else needs to hear this, of course, please share. I love the Sherry Share shares. All right, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, make it an epic day.